What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video now. We've just come off an amazing stream on my channel watching the Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley fight. Holy shit. First of all, I'm very disappointed. I thought Tyron Woodley was going to be the one to dismantle Jake Paul. However, unfortunately for us, Jake Paul won on points. Now, I said on the stream, I predicted that if Jake Paul was going to win, I couldn't see him knocking out Tyron Woodley, but I could see him winning on points. That happened. One of the judges gave Woodley the win. They got split decision, but I don't agree with that at all. Jake Paul won that fight for sure. He won technically. He boxed safely. He got the points. However, the most exciting moment of that fight by far came from Tyron Woodley when he gave us a taste. He blue balls us. Imagine you're just getting jerked and then the last minute released and you don't get to finish. That's what Woodley did to us. Complete blue balls. He gave us a taste of what it's like to see Jake Paul hurt and nearly get knocked out. And for some reason, just decided not to knock him out. I don't know if he was saving or conserving his energy or what, but it looked like he really could have finished Jake Paul. And it's such a shame he didn't because now we're all here and we're absolutely gutted because... We were this close. We were this close. To me, I didn't think Jake Paul was impressive. Obviously, lasting a whole fight against Tyron Woodley, a UFC champion, and winning is impressive in its own right. Look, of course, well done, Jake Paul. But I'm talking Ben Askren, you know, he knocked him out in one round, was clean. Jake Paul didn't really have any big moments in the fight. He was just consistent and throwing more punches. So he was more active, the more active puncher. So he won on points. I can't remember a single bit in the fight where he rocked Tyron Woodley. He hit him with probably one nice overhand right, which clipped him nice. But apart from that, Jake Paul was definitely the one who was in more danger in this fight compared to Tyron Woodley. 100% hands down. I really thought like I was so excited on my stream. My live reaction is hilarious. I really got, like, I thought Woodley was going to absolutely finish the job on Jake Paul, but <sighs> apparently it wasn't meant to be. Jake Paul, <sighs> for some reason, just scraped on by that one. And it shows how, you know, if Jake Paul really went against, like, a real boxer, I don't think he'd be too pretty for him because Tyron Woodley is an MMA fighter. You know, boxing isn't his specialty. He's a good striker. It's a lot different. And if Jake Paul got put in a ring against a real boxer now, he had Canelo on his list of... Uh, people he wanted to fight canelo <laughs> jake you would get absolutely dismantled by canelo not even canelo mcgregor conor mcgregor who actually boxes and boxed from a young age he would destroy you he would fuck you up so hard i think the debate on whether on how far jake paul can really push himself i think tyron woodley was at the moment like his limit because he scraped by that and i think someone with a higher boxing skill set than woodley like McGregor or even a Tommy Fury. Even though he Tommy Fury wasn't impressive tonight on his fight, I still think Tommy Fury would do a number on Jake Paul because he's an actual boxer. And Tyron Woodley, you could see there was parts of him like not finishing Jake off, for example, actually going for it like that, where he was just a bit more uncomfortable boxing. Whereas in a cage, if Jake Paul gets hit with that punch and starts falling over, the ropes aren't there to save you, Jake. And Tyron Woodley would have got on top and ground and pounded. And it would have been a glorious sight for all of us it really would have but hey it was a great event showtime know how to do it properly i have no complaints i always talk about and give a little summary of my review of the event no complaints showtime straight into the boxing that's how we like it fight finish at like 5 a.m uk time i remember the triller fight it was half five and we we're still watching snoop dog perform much as i love snoop dog i wasn't there for snoop dog but as we do with these boxing videos let's go on to see what the internet has been saying about the jake paul fight i already challenged jake paul to a rematch then start talking trash with logan paul yeah so if you don't know the loser of this fight had to get a tattoo saying i love jake paul or, i love tyron woodley on their body iron woodley challenged jake paul to a rematch straight away because he thought he won and was really pissed off jake paul said if he gets a tattoo on him definitely he will give him the rematch and tyron woodley shook on it so apparently tyron woodley is getting I love Jake Paul tattooed on his body and they're going to run it back. And I mean, I don't know how you could live with yourself or look in the mirror if you have I love Jake Paul tattooed on your body. I'm sorry. That is, I would rather no rematch. That is the ultimate L right there saying having I love Jake Paul tattooed on your body. I, <laughs> God. And like people have to be wondering what is KSI thinking right now? I went to his Twitter to see if he had a little update or reaction to it nothing right now but seeing that fight 
I don't think KSI would be overly impressed. I don't think he'd be scared watching that fight. Now, do I think KSI could have done that to Tyron Woodley and lasted? No. I think if KSI fought Tyron Woodley, it would be a different story and KSI would probably lose. However, the question remains, is KSI and Jake Paul going to fight in the future? Is this something now that KSI sees as an option or now Jake Paul's beat Tyron Woodley and is, you know, elevating to another level? Does KSI, now he's focused on music, he's at festivals, he's doing really well, think I'm just going to relax now with the boxing, probably just take it off or maybe not even do it at all. Have we seen the last of KSI in boxing? Who knows? However, it's a shame he hasn't reacted to it right now because I'd love to talk to you guys about it. But for now, all we can do is speculate on what KSI's reaction would be. Obviously, he'd be sad. Obviously, be upset. But he is the next best YouTube boxer. So, of course, we're going to talk about him and what he would think. And I'm curious to see if he's more humble, if he congratulates Jake, or if he does the whole, I have to be the one to shut up Jake Paul. It's going to be me. Or if he's just going to quit YouTube boxing altogether because he's living a pretty great life with the music stuff now. I wouldn't blame him if he did. I would love to see Jake Paul versus KSI. Let me know in the comments, who do you think wins that fight? Jake Paul or KSI? And I think, like everyone else's reaction today, we would have, KSI would have loved Woodley to have knocked Jake Paul the fuck out in that round. But, fortunately he didn't. So, let's see what else the uh, internet's been saying. Here is the uh, official scorecards of the fight, which is pretty interesting actually, because we can actually see how they scored this. So, they had Jake Paul winning one, two, three. Woodley winning four and five and eight and Jake winning six and seven. Who was that judge who had Woodley winning? Had Woodley winning eight, seven, six and five and four. And ja oh, that judge is on like drugs because as much as I hated Jake winning, uh, he definitely won that fight. Like technically, yeah, he won. Jake Laser, Jake Paul does it again. Tim the Tapman, Jake Paul first round. Remember this tweet? <laughs> Don't think so, buddy. Zerka tweeted out, fair play once again at Jake Paul, keeps delivering. Everyone watching Tyron Woodley almost knocking Jake Paul through the ropes. He fucking stands there like this. He's doing his fucking grocery list, thinking about what he, did he TiVo the fucking, uh, his favorite show? I, I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. He f <laughs> That's so true. When Tyron Woodley was just like, had Jake Paul by the balls, I was like, why are you not going in? Why are you not trying to finish that fucker? <laughs> so apparently running, getting rocked, and having the judges being from Ohio wins fights with your Jake Paul. Dude was running from Woodley after three rounds. Boxing is such a joke. Yeah, but that's his boxing, man. That isn't Jake Paul being from Ohio. Boxing is scored, you know? What score you get, how you punch, how many punches you land. Woodley had an amazing round that round, but can't win a fight off nearly knocking someone down. Looks like this guy is going to be very poor. If Jake Paul wins this fight, I'll give everyone who likes $100. Got 20k likes. You're about to go broke, Stable Ronaldo. Here's the actual punches that have been thrown against each other. So we can actually see the stats on the punches themselves. How many they threw. Jake Paul landed 36 jabs. Woodley landed 11 of 48. Jake Paul threw 122 jabs. Fucking hell. Uh, power punches. Jake threw, landed 35 of 85. Woodley landed 41 of 115. And then total punches. Woodley threw 163, landed 52. Jake threw 207. Landed 71, 34% to 32% accuracy. It landed a lot more body shots though, but still. If Woodley was just a bit more busy and a bit more active and pressed him more, I think he could have took that fight, even on points, if he tried harder, <laughs> to be honest. And a lot of people have been saying that apparently this fight was rigged. Even DJ Academic. I understand why people saying rigged. Hella times Tyron Woodley would hit Jake Paul with a shot, had no follow up. It's almost like he'll hit him and wait for him to recover. Like, hey, you good. Jake Paul stays undefeated. A lot of people saying it was rigged. This fight was fucking rigged. Man legit knocked Jake Paul the fuck out. How's it rigged? <laughs> rigged. The Paul Brothers fight is always rigged. He should have got KO'd. I love Jake Paul showing the clip of Tyron Woodley when he was smashing Jake Paul up. Just watched a free stream for Tyron vs. Jake Paul. It was rigged. Tyron literally turned it on around four and stopped trying in round six. Not surprised. Like, literally, so many people think this fight is rigged. Most rigged shit I've ever seen. These guys are trying to finesse you with a rematch too. Funny how Tyron Woodley didn't even try to go for the KO after he literally basically knocked down Jake Paul. What? What the fuck? If Jake Paul didn't keep running the whole time, Tyron Woodley would have knocked him out. Rigged as hell. This man, Jake Paul, won even though he got rocked. That's how you know it's rigged AF. God. Literally so many tweets from people thinking it's rigged. What? <laughs> like the fight was actually rigged. Apart from people saying it was rigged, there's some more news. Apparently Jake Paul and Tommy Fury got in a bit of a scuffle backstage. Mr. 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 
Yeah, well, Tommy Fury did suck tonight. Tommy Fury sucked bad. I don't really like Tommy Fury that much. I think he's kind of annoying. I think he's kind of rubbish and he fights bums. But if him and Jake Paul fought, yeah, I'd probably watch it. I can't lie. Because Tommy Fury is an actual boxer. So it'd be interesting to see if Jake Paul could handle a real boxer. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And let me know your thoughts down below. Like the video right now if you made it this far. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you wanted Tyron Woodley to knock him out so bad at that one point. My socials are all on the overlay. They're all running through the video. They're in the description down below. Check them out. Please leave a like. Follow the socials. And yeah, that is it for this video. Shame again, that feeling of Jake Paul winning. But till next time, fuck off.